How do you keep your how do you keep your ego from running away from from you given your the particulars of your situation in combination with your youth? Like what do you have around you that keeps your feet on the ground, do you think, or around you or within you? Honestly, it's very practical and simple. The first thing is my family. I actually am pretty grateful to um I I have I don't know that I hope you don't mind me mentioning this, but the best piece of advice I got at the start of this campaign was just like very practical advice from Tucker Carlson. Okay. Tucker told me, it's just like very practical stuff. He said, travel with your family. Take your bubble that you live in with you, right? Because, you know, at some point you're going to show up on the road and you're just going to be floating in the ether and waking up in some hotel asking, okay, where am I? And I'm just floating and going through the motions. You're going to feel like that at some point in this campaign. And here's how you protect yourself against that. Whatever you have at home, just take it with you. Or when you don't take it with you, just make it a rule that you want to come back and spend as many nights at home sleeping in your own bed as possible. I came home at 1130 last night. A few nights ago, it was 2 a.m. when I got back from Iowa. Oh, actually, where was it coming from? That was New Hampshire, excuse me. <laughs> Lose track where I'm coming from. But it's 2 a.m. But I still made a point to come back rather than to sleep the night over there because just as a very practical point, there's nothing philosophical about this. It grounds me. I wake up that next morning to the sound of my young son crying and it, it annoys you at first for the first split second. And then it's just joy after that, which is like, that's what you wake up to in the morning. And I think that we're traveling as much as we can as a family. now. Now, my wife has her own version of this, which I wouldn't say is in conflict, but has some logistical attributes that we have to balance, which is her version of also part of staying grounded in a journey that she did not sign up for. She does not covet attention. She doesn't hide from, she, I don't know if you've ever seen her. She's very earnest and connects with people at a level sometimes that's even deeper than I do with many audiences. And she's not shy about it, but she doesn't covet it in any sense, certainly doesn't seek it. The thing that keeps her grounded is, in addition to our family unit, which is important to her, is she made a decision that I admire her for keeping, is she's kept her full-time job through this. And it is not a lightweight full-time job. She is a throat surgeon. She literally saves lives of people who have gone through cancer at the Ohio you know, Cancer Center, at the James Hospital, at the Ohio State University. People have been through head and neck cancer, the consequences of that. She's a throat surgeon, the best one of the best in the world, certainly at the narrow domain she's in. She has people who fly here to see her. She keeps her operating room schedule. And so let's say I'm in Iowa on a Friday night. There have been cases where she would, days where she will do 12 cases in the day and still be at a dinner event where we're both speaking in Iowa that night. And so for each of us, it's, I think the practical steps, actually, I think we're, and this is where I'm so grateful to Tucker, actually. I, uh, I, launched the campaign actually on his show. And it was just in the chit chat that we had after that, that I got like probably the best practical tip that I have since used throughout this campaign, which is as simple as this, whenever you can just make it a rule, we will travel with our family as a family unit. Whenever that is possible, that is just what we will do. When that is not possible because Apoorva has to stay in Columbus, Ohio, maybe I'll get one-on-one -on -one time with Karthik. She'll stay with Arjun. And when it's not possible for the kids to come, which would be too taxing for them, or they have their activities, I will make an effort. And even if it's 2 a.m., I will be back home in this house where I'm talking to you from. And maybe I'll get an hour less sleep, but I'll be more grateful for it in the morning when I wake up the next day.